Oh, hell up here, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're discussing what I believe is one of the most underrated fragrances from the house of Creed, and that fragrance is none other than Creed's Spice and Wood. Before we proceed into everything you need to know about this fragrance, I must let you know that today's video is being brought to you by FragranceUSA.com. Listen, these guys have some great steals and deals on their website, and you're going to be able to get up to 60% off. In addition to that, great prices, you're gonna get great customer experience, and you're also going to get fast, reliable shipping. We'll talk more about that and give you some additional discounts, but let me tell you more about this gym here, which they happen to have on their site. As always, before we get into the actual scent of this fragrance, we'll go through and talk about the presentation. I'll have you have a look at the bottle here. And if you notice anything about this fragrance, this fragrance is a little bit different than some of the fragrances you would come to expect from the House of Creed, especially in its presentation. For one, this one is in a 75 ml bottle. As we see, a lot of the other ones are in 50, 100, or the Legacy 125 ml bottles. This also has a different type of feel and look than some of the other fragrances that we can come to expect, especially some of the more popular ones like Aventus, Green Irish Tweed, Virgin Island Water, etc. This one comes in this style bottle. Along with that, you have the hints of gold and you also have the Creed logo and this monogram style embossed on the fragrance. And why does any of that matter? I don't typically talk about that. The reason why this matters is because this indicates that this one is a part of a different collection. And this fragrance is a part of a collection that's supposed to give you a more royal-esque and a higher end, more refined feel than some of their already classy, classic, refined, elegant fragrances. And that's tough to do. Now, according to Creed, the note breakdown for Creed Spice and Wood is as follows. In the top, you're gonna get these citrus components with apple, bergamot, and lemon. And in the mid is when we begin to get some of that spice. It starts off with some angelic root. You have some vetiver, you have some pink peppers, patchouli, you get some birch in this thing. And although the notes may not be a lot of wood, it definitely comes off as a lot of wood within this fragrance. So in the base of this fragrance, you get some Irish, you get some cedar wood, you get some oak moss and Tonkin musk. So that really wraps up the note breakdown for this fragrance, but what does all of that mean? So let's unpack that and talk about what it means. So this one is a part of that Le Royale exclusive collection from the House of Creed, which really goes over those higher end fragrances, more refined, more elegant type of feel. And some of the other fragrances that join this one in its company, where you would have is Pure White Cologne, which is an amazing scent. White Flowers, Sublime Vanille, of course, we have Spice and Wood, and we also have Jardin d'Amalfi. Now, each fragrance within this collection is really made after a different element, and they're all refined and elegant in their own right, but today's video is really about this fragrance, so I'll just tell you all the deets about this. So what do I get when I spray this fragrance, huh? Well, when you spray this thing here, you're going to get that signature Creed undeniable freshness. You're also gonna get this tart spiciness that comes along with it, but that is quickly, when I say quickly, I mean it's quickly met with some notes of that wood, which is why I talked about there being a lot of wood in this fragrance. Although the notes don't show it, um, you're quickly met with that cedar wood in this fragrance and yeah, this thing here is, is really, really nice. Now, I recently released a video with Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and within that video, we somehow ended up talking about this fragrance, and um, we both really, really enjoy it. This is, again, as I stated, one of the most underrated fragrances from the House of Creed, and I believe that its price point has something to do with it, <laughs> but if you take that out of the equation, this thing here is worthy of being in every man's fragrance collection. Now, one of the things that I will say about this fragrance, again, it has this bitter tartness with it that kind of gives it, in my personal opinion, this tobacco-esque type of vibe. Although there are no tobacco notes listed in the official note breakdown, I feel like there's this light layer of tobacco that just covers this fragrance. And within it, it really has this high-end upper echelon type of feel. As I've probably already mentioned, I've had a number of decants of this fragrance over the years, 
and just the reception and feedback that I get with this fragrance, it really never ceases to amaze me. Again, as I stated that I feel like this is one of the fragrances along with some of those others that are in this collection are some of the underrated fragrances. Again, with that price point, it becomes a bit more difficult to obtain. And when I talk about the price point on this one, it starts about 525 bucks or $575, but most people aren't able to swing and you're rarely able to find this one on discounters, but that's where Fragrance USA comes in. All right, so they have this thing available, ready to go. And I was able to get this one from them and they had this on their site for a great price so as i mentioned you get these fragrances up to 60 percent off you get fast shipping you get great customer experience and you also are going to get something that i think is super important when it comes to the fragrance world and this is a solid return policy as most of these fragrance companies do not offer uh, return policies in terms of these discounters right listen so if you purchase a fragrance from fragrance usa and you find yourself to be unhappy uh, then they are definitely going to look out for you man they have a 15 percent restocking fee if you open anything or use it or if you purchase it you're like yeah change my mind on it if you don't open it up you can return it within 15 days and i feel that those two things in itself are worth a try so listen um these fragrances here again are traditionally expensive they have them on their site at a discounted rate but wait there's more it gets better while on their site just use my code big beer 10 and you'll receive an additional 10 percent off of your order you can use my code or any other code that you can find out there i just want you guys to get a great deal on fragrances especially as i said these fragrances are difficult to find on discount sites and they have them available so this is definitely one that will work for you in the fall and creed has this one listed on their website as a fall fragrance so if you're wondering hey if i need something to add into the collection this is definitely one of the fragrances i'm going to tell you to grab it because of its price point um you won't feel this one or see this one in a ton of people's collection so you can wear this one with confidence and know that you're not going to smell like the guy three cubicles down from you because he's social distancing from you six feet all right solid solid fragrance in my personal opinion again i think this one is one of the more slept on fragrances and with the name in itself right you may feel that this one because it to me has this almost fougere type of feel although it has an oriental feel to it as well um it's just one that that has been phenomenal for me. It's worked, it's gotten me compliments. And now that I have the full bottle, full presentation to share, I am more than happy to recommend this thing. Cree Spice and Wood is a standout scent. Um, gone as you compliments. I'll tell you a story about this one. I was walking in Hobby Lobby, it'll be very specific for you, looking for something for the missus um, while I was on my way home. Sprayed this thing, obviously I was wearing it. I sprayed this on, um, I'm walking through the store and group of people walk past me and he said mm, like what are you talking about he said that guy smells so good and this is the fragrance that i had on now i traditionally wear a bit more sprays on this fragrance when i'm wearing this one i'll typically go a bit heavy on it because personally i feel that this one wears a little light although it does project i feel like this one is light enough that you can go heavier on sprays and not offend people and they were definitely able to smell it through the mask in this case um, i actually got two compliments with this fragrance this day one person did not have a mask on the other person did just in case you were wondering well they didn't compliment me directly they said it as they were walking past me all right so um definitely a fragrance that will work um uh longevity projection on this one again this one does project but it's a lighter type of feel so it's okay if you go heavier on the sprays on this and my personal opinion i know some of you out there will care to uh, not agree with me on that and that's all good in my book in terms of the longevity on this thing here for me on my skin i get about eight to ten hours on this one and that's on this fragrance and also the decants that i've had over the years that's really been a good spot for me in that eight to ten hour range i know some people have complained about you know having less performance on this or maybe they just were expecting more performance on this for its retail price point i'm not sure but i can tell you what it does for me and i get about eight to ten hours on this thing and again i traditionally do heavier sprays on this one so i'll typically go you know 
three to seven sprays on a fragrance, but with this one, I'm comfortable with going up to 10 or 11. That's just my personal take on that. And the same thing with Creed's um, Pure White Cologne. So if you have a spray routine for this fragrance, let me know, leave it down below. I'm sure everyone would love to know it. Again, this is a, a underrated fragrance in my personal opinion from the house. And if I had to give this thing a rating, I would give this one a nine out of 10. Um, the only thing that this thing lacks is versatility is I don't believe that this one is a great fragrance for spring and summer. But outside of that fall and winter, this is a standout scent. Um, you know, there's some other fragrances out there that I've given tens on that, um, but I just felt that their scent profile was so different than anything else that they still deserve that 10, despite the lack of versatility. But all in all, man, solid fragrance and my personal opinion from the House of Creed. Again, not one that is in everyone's collection that is, is a Creed fan, but um, one that if you get this one, it's not going to be one that you're going to smell all the time so stand out with something like this check out the people over at fragranceusa.com i'll leave them linked down below listed the code is going to be there again use my code or anyone else's code out there it really doesn't matter to me i just want you guys to get great quality fragrances at great prices so there you have it as always i'm your boy big big b don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend we all back again check out my people over at fragranceusa.com but before you go make sure you hit the goddamn bell